Hi guys, Dominique here. I hope you guys are social distancing and hungry because I came up with the best recipe for a vegan strawberry shortcake. So I'm super excited about this recipe. Like I said, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to make. All you need is a food processor, but don't worry. If you don't have a food processor, you can still make it and just mix everything by hand. It's basically sweet vegan biscuits, but with strawberry and coconut whipped cream inside so it looks like this so pretty um and it tastes phenomenal i've already had one um it's super easy to make it costs about six dollars to make um because most of the ingredients you probably have at your house already and if you want to learn how to make this vegan strawberry shortcake stay tuned for the rest of this video make sure you like subscribe and veganhippiecafe.com launch guys so i'm gonna put it right here veganhippiecafe.com go be a subscriber go be a hippie insider and you'll receive recipes like this all the time and i'm just so 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 excited for this and i will see you guys in the next video enjoy so we're going to start with our ingredients. We have some baking powder, some sugar, some vegan butter, strawberries. We have about a cup and a half of flour, some more sugar, some sea salt, and also some almond milk in your food processor. Everything will be listed below. We're going to start by combining all of your dry ingredients into your food processor. So the flour, the sugar, the salt, and the baking powder. And you're going to put the lid on and you're just going to pulse it a few times just to make sure it's all blended together. And if you're doing this by hand, just whisk all the ingredients together. So now we're gonna take our vegan butter. I'm using Earth Balance. And you're gonna take about six tablespoons. I did six or seven. Like I said, everything will be below and you're gonna place them in your food processor as well. So this is where you're gonna make your dough. And you want it to be very cr a crumbly consistency, just like you're making biscuits. Put the lid on, of course, and pulse a few times. It is very, very important not to overmix your dough because then it won't come out the best. Your dough should look crumbly just like that. So we're gonna take our vegan buttermilk, which is just almond milk and apple cider vinegar, regular vinegar, and we're gonna put it in our food processor and pulse it about three or four times. <laughs> Don't be like me and get it all wrapped around. And you still want the consistency to stay crumbly so don't overwork your dough. On a cleaned floured surface, go ahead and take your dough from the food processor and place it on there. And you just want to be very gentle with your dough. I always tell people treat your dough with kindness and all your food with kindness and love. And just kind of work the flour into the dough. I did about a half a handful because you don't want it to be too floury. And you're gonna try to create a ball. A perfect dough shaped ball and it's okay if it's a little crumbly as you can see here um, I apologize I got a little bit out of frame but hopefully you can see and understand what I'm saying so once your dough is in a ball like that take a rolling pin and just start to roll it out make sure you flour the rolling pin if the dough is too sticky and I actually did not have a cookie cutter on hand so I just used a bowl um, but if you have a cookie cutter go ahead and cut it and you want to roll the dough into about an inch, inch and a half because it is going to rise in the oven. If you haven't already, go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And um, you don't want to go any higher than that. If you feel more comfortable, you can also do 400 degrees. Just cook it a little longer. And you want to continue to roll it out and repeat this process until you have about six vegan strawberry shortcakes. Um, it, this recipe makes about six, and you're gonna split them in half, so really it's 12. So we're gonna make a little vegan wash here. So it's about a tablespoon of butter and two to three tablespoons of vegan milk. And you're gonna just take that and mix it up and brush it over the biscuits. This will help the biscuits form a color and brown while cooking, well, while baking in the oven. Now it's time to prepare strawberries for the shortcake. I'm taking about a teaspoon of maple syrup. You can use whatever sweetener you like and however much sugar you'd like. And I'm just mixing it around the strawberries to make sure that it's coated very, very evenly. It's important to do this because the strawberries are going to produce juices that you can use as a syrup to put on top of your strawberry shortcake. 
The next step in this process is making our coconut whipped cream. So this is the coconut cream we'll be using and I'm just showing you the different sweeteners that you can use, agave, sugar if you would like. I actually went with maple syrup because it's a great vanilla extract substitute. So you're going to scoop out the cream. If you can, you want to make sure that you chill overnight or for a few hours while you're making the shortbread just so it can be as cold as possible. Once you're done scooping in the cream, you're going to take your mixer and you're just going to mix it around. I actually, be careful because it got a little messy for me and it got everywhere. So try to do it on low, don't do it on high. And about halfway through, you're going to add in the sweetener that you choose to use. And I chose to use maple syrup because it's a great vanilla extract substitute. And you're just going to continue to mix until you get your desired consistency. I was hungry so for me this was okay but I would say mix a little more. So now we're going to prep the shortcakes. You take a biscuit and you slice it in half. You add your strawberries and don't forget to get the um, syrup at the bottom. And you're going to take the coconut whipped cream and just put a dabble on top and then top it off with the other biscuit or you can do the same thing to the other biscuit and you don't have to make it like a little sandwich but I did and this is the vegan strawberry shortcake brought to you by vegan hippie cafe enjoy